We will now go over study problem 5-19 from our textbook. Let's first understand the problem. We have two investors, Selma and Patty, and they have different investment plans. Uh, they are both 35 years away from retirement, and they both have equal access to investment opportunities over the next 35 years, where they can make 38% return on their investments. So Selma is actually pretty smart, and she decides that She's worried about her in, uh, retirement very early on in her career and she decides to invest $2,000 a year at the end of each year for the next 10 years only. And on the other hand, Patty, uh, she doesn't save anything for the first 10 years. However, she starts late and for the remaining 25 years of her career, she will be spend, she will be saving $2,000. So the question is how much will they have accumulated each one of them on their separate bank accounts and which one is higher. Huh? So this question, I kind of like it for a very good reason. It gives us a very good lesson about time value of money and starting investment early on because our investments accumulate compound over time and compounding is very powerful. Okay, so let's begin with the case of Selma. Let me draw the timeline. Let's remember her story again. So this is now at the beginning of her career and this is retirement by the end of year 35. So what she does is for the first 10 years of her uh, career. Um, okay, that's pretty much I think. Yeah, so she goes on to invest $2,000 for the next 10 years for the for the first 10 years, I should say. So she invests 10 and then uh, she let her investment after year 10, um, the bank account, the, 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 the retirement money is still in the bank account. It will continue to earn in interest. However, she will not further deposit any additional amount. So we will solve the, the case for Selma first. And this is a two-step solution. Let's first figure out what goes on by the end of the the 10 year and uh, the 10th year and then from 10 to year 35 so between years between now and year 10 what goes on is use our financial calculator as usual this is so we invest for 10 years we can earn a we have access to an eight percent investment opportunity throughout the, our 35 years of investment horizon uh, we do not initially deposit any amount. However, at the end of each year, during our first 10 years, we deposit $2,000 and we wonder how much our money will grow into uh, at the end of the 10th year. So we compute the future value, as I said, by the end of year 10, that should equal, using our financial calculator, $28,973. $28,000. 973 dollars but we're not done yet recall that this is how much money accumulates at the by the end of year 10 now she will have a eight percent return on her investment for the remaining 25 years even though she is no longer uh, depositing uh, some constant amounts um well in the second step now uh, so this was the first step from now to the year 10 in the second step we calculated from year 10 to year 35 or i should have said year 11 to year 35. again we are using our financial calculator payment the future value huh? so um well the the present value now is so what we got earlier as the future value is now our present value this is the initial value by the end of year 10 973 dollars oops um, that doesn't look like a seven yeah that's a seven and we're curious how much it will accumulate into we no longer deposit any fixed amount previously we used to deposit two thousand dollars each year and we have 25 more years um, we still have access to 8% return on our investment. So we now compute the future value one more time, this time for the end of year 35. Um, and that number comes out as 
$421. And that's how much she has accumulated in her account. Now let's compare this number, which is very close to $200,000, with what Patty has accumulated over the next uh, 35 years. So I will open a new page for her. Well, her case is pretty curious. So for the first 10 years, from year 1 to 10, nothing. Hmm. However, from starting year, year 11 all the way to year 35, she has some investment plan. So let's use our typical keys. So we wonder how much she will have accumulated by the end of year 35. She deposits now $2,000 for 25 years only. And initially she deposits nothing and she has access to 8% return on her investment. We simply compute the future value in that case by the end of year uh, 35. And that will basically give us uh, one hundred and forty six um, thousand two hundred and twelve dollars now I want you to be careful so let's recall what we did for Patty so this is now this is year 10 end of year 10 year 35 so what she did is starting it by the end of year 11 so she she started making lots of deposits for the next actually 25 years so she deposited two and a half times more money into the bank account than Selma did however Selma's advantage was that she started investing early on and guess what Patty was only able to accumulate $146,000 like uh, which is but roughly 25% less than how much Selma has accumulated in her account. So that's a very, very important lesson for us all. Huh? So it's, it's a personal finance lesson. Early on in your career, make sure to invest, save money and invest as early as you can throughout your career because, um, because of the compounding power of, uh, of interest rates. Um, but that, that solves our problem and we are pretty much done.